Harness versus the flat collar. What's a flat collar? Regular dog collar. I don't know how better to explain it. If you, if you don't know what a flat collar is on a dog, um, it's just a regular, normal collar that dogs wear. Problem with harnesses, you have no direction. Uh, sled dogs wear harnesses, so all you're doing is giving your dog more ability to pull and you can't correct them for it. Because all you're doing is pulling back. What do dogs do? They pull forward. Just like you, you don't like something somebody's doing, you do the opposite. Um, so harnesses, don't like them. Again, there's a place and time for everything in the world. Um, I'm not a fan of them. Flat collar, I can direct the dog. Dog pulls forward, I pull to the side. Dog's head turns, they can't keep pulling forward. Very simple. Um, I don't know how else to, to make it simpler than that. Uh, a flat collar, you can direct the dog. I call the dog to me, pull him in, just say come, dog comes in towards me. A harness, you pull them and they're basically flipping over, right? There's just no, or you're pulling dog from the back and they're trying to pull away from you. Um, there's no directional with the harnesses, so it just doesn't, it doesn't work. Um, plus, I find harnesses are easier to slip out of than flat collars. I've had dogs do it. Um, a flat collar, if on there properly, should not be able, the dog should not be able to get out of it if it's on properly. Um, if your dog is pulling out of it, they have collars called Martingale collars. They're basically hybrid between flat collars and, uh, and chokes. Uh, so they do not continue to contract, um, but they don't allow the dog to pull out. So it, it has an extra piece of, of chain or fabric, depending on which one you get, um, that stops the dog, or restricts the dog a little bit, but does not continue to choke like a choke chain, which I'm not a fan of myself. Um, so whichever one you like, if your dog's able to get out, if your dog's ever pulled out of a flat collar, even one time, get a martingale collar, because I'm just gonna tell you, dog's gonna do it again. Dogs aren't stupid, they learn from repetition, and it only takes them one time. It's just like I tell everybody, if you ever fed a dog from your couch or from your table, what's that dog do? It'll sit there for the rest of its life, just waiting for food. It doesn't matter if it goes 10 years and never gets a scrap, it's gonna do it, because it happened that one time, and the dog goes, there's a chance. So. Your dog learned they can pull out of a flat collar you need to get something different or make sure that flat collar is extremely tight compared to where it was if you just had it on too loose in the first place um, so again harnesses don't like flat collars are the way to go but if the dog knows how to slip out of a flat collar or just has a neck that you can't get a flat collar to stay on even if it's on tight they're called martingale collars um, again they restrict the dog more but don't continue to contract like a choke um, i recommend those highly uh, I don't, there's different brands and you can buy them everywhere. So I'm not highlighting a particular brand, just saying they're, they're generally called Martingales and any pet store or online will know what the hell you're talking about. Um, so get those for your dog. Questions, email, call, text um, about harnesses. If you're starting any of our lessons or the board and train, we want a flat collar on the dog. Don't bring the dog with the harness. We're just gonna put a flat collar on it anyway. Thanks.